This has probably done more to help our wrestlers than just about anything. Give them permission to wrestle patient and take their time. Too often what we do is, you know, dad's mat side, coach's mat side, um, you know, our buddy's dad, the kids, they're hyping each other up. And we're just, work, we're working up our nervous systems. And we're in such a heightened sense of really emergency that we go out there and we, our timing is off. We wrestle silly. We don't wrestle smart. Um, we wear out physically. Um, when your emotions are sort of like vibrating at a high level, one bad thing happens in a match and we have these big mood swings on the mat. I see it. I see it all the time. So, you know, contrary to what you would think, it's best not to do those things. Now, sure, we are not competing in checkers or chess. The mental preparation for a high stress game like chess is going to be different or uh, you know, competitive shooting. Maybe it's archery. Maybe it's competitive shooting uh, at the trap range or with a rifle. You know, um, uh, in the in the Olympics, right? There are there, there's games such as that. Um, mental preparation for those high stress competitive events is different than if we were mentally preparing for wrestling. Mentally preparing for a powerlifting competition where you just have to pick up massively heavy weight and hold it like for, you know, a half a second or a third of a second, there's gonna, could possibly be a little bit more anger and excitement there, but still not too soon. So we don't wanna start too soon and we also don't want to agitate our athletes. The military says, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. And if you will allow and encourage your wrestlers to take a deep breath, take your time. Now, sure, we're not relaxed like we're getting ready to go take a nap. I mean, I'm ready to go. Right, we're ready to throw down, we're ready to, 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 to fight. There's gonna be a lot of little fights in a match. Whether I'm fighting to keep you on the mat, I'm fighting to pull in your leg, I'm hopefully not, but fighting to get off of my back, fighting not to get turned even though my, um, it's painful, my arm is you know twisted in a bad place. So there's a little bit of anger because we are competitive athletes who are in a combat sport, but Bringing this full circle, we do need to make sure that our nervous systems aren't firing at a rapid pace level for all those other reasons that I just mentioned at the beginning of this little chat. Um, it's so counterproductive. So I would say that's probably at least one of the main things that we do at um, have since you know 1999, so I think we just started our 25th year of coaching. We just finished our 25th year. And that's been a mantra and a mindset and a coaching strategy and a talking point in our room for that many years. So give it a try, allow your opponents to have a little more calm, cool, and collected approach, and I think you're gonna find that they uh, perform at a much higher level.